Let me break it down for you. Federal police, surveillance drones, military checkpoints, soldiers, Sea Shepherd, and the Mexican Navy. It's a massive group effort to save the endangered vaquita porpoise. Brazen poaching, riots, around 1,200 dead animals, 40 tons of gill nets, all the media you could throw at it. Still, the Gulf of California is a death trap for endangered vaquitas and all the beautiful wildlife calling it home. This place is something special, about everything that wiggles or swims in the sea, from cute little guys to breathtaking behemoths. They're here. If you're really lucky, you'll see the cutest of them all, the vaquita porpoise. But your chances are slim. There's less than 30 left in existence, all because of humans. How? Where to even begin? Kind of like elephant tusks, rhino horns, and shark fins, a fish called the totoaba, another endangered species, is hunted for its swim bladder, which is sold on the black market. Some see it as a status symbol, while others use it for some pretty weird medicinal purposes. We figure they just don't know the whole story. If they do, they just don't care. Now these swim bladders share trade routes with cocaine and sell for just as much. Just like drugs, there's a whole world of confusion and blame. About the only thing that anyone agrees on is the situation is way out of control. Yeah, the government are doing their bit, but this is no small time poaching. It's organized crime with big money to lose. Those brave enough to enforce the law ain't exactly welcome with open arms either, unless you consider death threats, burning vehicles, and shootings friendly gestures. You see, the problem is, poachers use gill nets to catch totoaba, which destroy all manner of sea life, including the critically endangered vaquita porpoise. A refuge was created to save the vaquita, banning any fishing, but all that totoaba proved too tempting to resist. Now these poachers like to creep around at night, hiding nets, and when they pop up on our screens, you can be sure they're up to no good, and they don't exactly appreciate us watching them. Once they've taken off, we look for their nets, and if we find them, sorry boys, it's finders keepers. Now pulling these gill nets is a messy job, but we're more than willing to oblige. We freed hundreds of desperate animals and contributed to some of the largest Totoaba seizures ever recorded. It's a complicated situation for fishermen here. Restrictions are hitting legit fishing industries hard, but it's them bad apples working illegally that are making it that way. Sea Shepherd will continue working until the waters are safe for the vaquita, because if she dies out, a part of the ocean dies out. And as the good captain says, if the oceans die, we die.